welcome to Lucidity's Toyscape. Today I'm opening another Kaweta Chun toy, and once again this is by Takara Tomi. Now you might notice that this box is a little disheveled, but that's because this was thrifted. So this is a secondhand item, but it comes with almost everything that would come originally with it. So I think that's fine. Let's take a look at the box. Here's the front. Not much happening there. It's all in Japanese, so I don't know Japanese, so I can't help you out. Here's the other side. It has a little comic on it. The last time... Oh, well. Hey. The last time we opened a Kaweta Chen toy, it also had a comic on it. But I can't read it. And it shows here some other products you can purchase. And on this side, it shows how this item that comes with the toy works. And that is the one single item that we don't have. And here's what the toy looks like. It shows you everything that it should come with. Of course, it doesn't come with that one piece shown on the back there. And the sticker sheet has already been used, so they didn't include that either. It shows you how to put in the batteries and a bunch more stuff. So let's just go ahead and open it. Also, by the way, guys, on the box it shows a few bits of furniture. And we're actually going to be opening those as well because those were included when I thrifted this. They don't come with the toy originally, but I got them. Here it is out of the box, and it also comes with this, these three pieces, which make a staircase. So let's put that together. As you can see, the stickers are already on there because the previous owner already put them on. So that's one piece, the railing. And then this back piece. And there you go, a staircase. Now let's take a look at the star house. I'm not sure if it's anything more than just a house that's shaped like a star. It's super pretty though, it's pink. Here's the back. Here's where you put the batteries, and here's the on and off switch. We'll turn it on soon. Let's open it up. Well, that's not what I thought would happen. Anyway, this part comes down and reveals a little place to put stuff. There's carpet here, a sticker carpet. And this also comes down. So, to this part, we can attach the stairs. This piece, this back piece here, this only, this is only included so that you can attach it to the treehouse. But we're not opening the treehouse in this video, but I do have it for a future video. So we're going to put that aside and use this. And this will connect right here. So now there's a little staircase. Let's go down to the bottom floor or up. To the top floor. Now we're not going to turn this on just yet. Let's go ahead and look at the furniture sets that I have. I have two. Here's the first one. Now if you buy this separately, which you have to, but I bought them together because I interrupted it, but if you did, then you would get these two together. So this cute little one take a closer look at her. This girl here, she's slightly, she's translucent, her top half, well, this thing on her head, this big diamond, as well as her body is translucent. She has blue hair. Now, I think these are the newer Kaleida Chans. I think in the previous video, I must have opened the older ones because these sit down. So, she has incandescent in her, so you can sit her down. And she sits like that for huge, huge feet, taking up all that space. And she can also turn her head. And she comes with this mirror. It's not a reflective sticker, it's shiny silver, so you can't see yourself in it. Which, in my opinion, is fine. I'm never too fond of the shiny mirror stickers they put on toys because they never really work so well. It's kind of just kind of weird. So let's put that up there. I think that's a good place. And she can go up there with it for now. The other furniture set is here. 
Now once again, this is a full set of furniture if you were to purchase it separately. Let's take a look at the girl. Here she is. She's super cute. Like all the Koita chans, her face is very simple. She has purple hair and a huge yellow star on her. It's kind of translucent. You can't really tell on camera, but it's pretty translucent. And so is her dress. So these two girls are pretty fancy. Here's what she comes with. She comes with this piano. It has a sticker here for the keys, a sticker here for the book thing. I'm not, I don't know anything about pianos. And this. So it's super cute. This is translucent blue, as you can tell. So is the mirror. And I'm not sure what this, this is. Maybe that's just what pianos have. Looks like something's missing. And she also comes with this cute couch. It has this pink trim on it. Very cute. Now this translucent plastic is quite sparkly, I think you can tell. Cute. Let's put those inside. Put that one there. And this one here. Now I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what it does. There's a switch back here. So when I turn the switch on, it makes the star sound. Let's put her inside. So when you put her in there, it says something in Japanese. Please don't ask me what she says, because I don't know. And I asked my sister who knows a little Japanese, and she also doesn't know because it's too high and squeaky. So if you know what she's saying, comment below and let everyone know what these guys are saying. So I think they have a few phrases. Let's try again. So that one just plays music. Let's try and put her in. Oh. So she's going to come up the stairs. Boop, 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 boop. And straight in there. There you go, she says something in Japanese. So from what I can tell, when you put them in, they have a phrase. And then when you click this button, it just kind of plays this kind of like little lullaby, which makes sense because it's a star. Now it's time for the Scape Stars review. Scape Stars are my rating system where I rate five important categories out of five stars to see how good this toy really is. The categories are S for specialty, C for collectability, A for action, P for price, and E for entertainment. So for S for specialty, I gave these guys a 4, because I do think that Koreda Chans are special in a lot of ways. But you know, this set in particular doesn't have too many things that are super special about it. But I do like how it plays music and talks, that's cute. And I also like how they give you the option to attach the staircase to another set with this piece. As well as provide a little stand if you have the Odeka, the older Koreda Chan toys. For C, for collectability, I decided to also give this a 4, because I do think quite a chunk in general are collectible. And, uh, if you look at the box, this, ha this house can actually attach to the top of the tree house. I can't show you that today, but it can. It has little notches at the bottom, so you can attach it to the top. So if you collect the tree house as well, then, you know, you can put it all together, as well as the staircase. But I didn't give it full because you have to buy the furniture and all that separately. Which I've never really been fond of when it comes to toys when you have to buy the furniture separately for a house. Because then you just buy a house and it's empty. For A, for action, I decided to give this a 4.5 because it does what it's supposed to do. It makes the sound, the music, and everything fits properly. And I know this attaches to the treehouse because I've tried. 
So it all works. The lights work. Everything works very nicely. But I didn't give them full again because the voice is so high and squeaky that, I mean, some people can't understand it. Maybe, maybe if you're Japanese and Japanese is your, maybe if Japanese is your first language, you would understand it perfectly. But I can't and neither can my sister. Maybe it's simpler than I think. But you know, it also has very few phrases as well. For P, for price, I decided to give them a 4 because I think in general Kaleida chants are relatively cheap from what I've seen. But, you know, um, when I look at the prices online, they don't seem all that cheap anymore. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because of the country I'm in and what if the currency conversion is just a lot. I don't really know. I got this cheap because I bought it from a thrift store, thrift thing. I got this from a flea market, so I got it in a set with a lot of other things, so it was pretty cheap if you consider it. So I don't really know. So I gave them a four because I know that Kaleida chans are pretty cheap, but I don't really know what this one is. For E for entertainment, I decided to give this a 4.5 because I think it's super cute. It's a dollhouse, you know? You have the figures, if you buy the furniture, you have the furniture. And it talks, makes music, that's fun. I think lots of toys have that function and I think it's always been fun for kids. Maybe not so much for parents. Just saying. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And I would love you guys to comment below and tell me which of these two figures is your favorite. For me it's a hard decision. I like the blue of this girl better, but I prefer the look of this one and the color combination. So like this video if you enjoyed it and want to see more Kaida chans. Goodbye!